You heard it here, folks. There are more possible characters in Bloxels than levels in the original Super Mario Maker. We broke the Mario Plex. A hefty opponent was set before us, the Mario Plex. 1.8 times 10 to the 12,431st possible levels can be made with Mario Maker. More levels than atoms in the universe. For more than a year, this number has held the title of the largest number conceived that actually means something. But I am here to argue that this record can be shattered with Bloxel's Builder. By the way, Matt Pat told everyone using this number to cite him. It's what he told us underlings to do, but you know what? I can respect that. Guy needs his number. I'm using MLA in the description. I hope that's okay. It's all I know. I'm sorry if you really wanted to be cited in Chicago, but it's not happening. Last video, we discovered that each enemy in Bloxels can have one of 5,051,367,525 brains, but oh lads, we have just begun. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's not really necessary to watch it to understand this video, but you should watch it. Since it's not vital, you could just watch it afterwards. That video covered the hardest part of the long quest to find how many possible levels there are in Bloxels. If you don't know what Bloxels is because you live in a cave, or maybe Bloxels lives in a cave, not many people know it's a thing, basically it's Mario Maker in an app without Mario. Just to clarify, this is Bloxels Builder, not the new prestigious Bloxels EDU that you have to pay for. Yes, only the rich can vote. I don't have dollars! Now that we know how many brains are possible, we can get onto the part which is easier to understand. Let's start with the game builder interface. When you go to make a game, you can build an animation, background, character, or board, which can all be put together to build a game. Brains are also included in that category because they aren't clearly defined as being an animation, background, character, or board, but we're pretty much done with those for now. Boards are the simplest, so we'll start with them. Luckily for us, there is no bound to how many blocks of a single color you can have as long as the total is under 169. When we choose 8 colors from the several you can choose from, we'll get back to this, each of the 169 blocks can be one of 8 colors or blank, leaving 9 options for each square. Since each block's choice is independent of all the others, that's just 9 to the 169. We did it! That's all we need to do there. By the way, if a choice is independent of another choice, it means that if we change change one choice, it means absolutely nothing for the other choice. For instance, if block 1 is red, block 2 literally could not care less. Nothing changes for the second block. Now we're choosing 8 colors from 64 options, therefore 64 choose 8. Somebody hit an easy button. If you don't know how choose works, I covered it in my first ever petite predicament, link in the description. Abridged version, 64 choose 8 is 64 factorial over 8 factorial times 56 factorial. Multiply this by 9 to the 169th in order to get 8.1849 times 10 to the 170th possible boards. You might be wondering why this is so much more than the amount of brains. We're using the same number of blocks, so why are these numbers different? First off, I hypothesize that the bulk of the combinations will have over 40 blocks of a single color. Additionally, there are now 64 colors instead of 7. But the biggest thing is that order matters. If you switch the order of the colors, as long as they are different colors, it makes a different pattern, which adds an extensive amount of possibilities. On to animations. Each frame is a board, so you can have 30 frames to your animation. Each frame is independent of the others, so that's 8.1849 times 10 to the 170th, all to the 30th power, which is... Come on, Ensign! Spire? Oh, it's, it's infinity. Well, I guess it's time to go buy a high precision calculator with all my college savings. Wait! No, it's not. Even if I could afford a high precision calculator, we're only at animations. We've just begun. Instead, let's do it ourselves. So in math class, you've obviously learned that something like x times y cubed is x cubed times y cubed. We can split it up if it's inside the parentheses. So now, 8.1849 is x and 10 to the 170th is y. The calculator can do what we can't handle and we'll do what the calculator can't handle. After simplification, we have 2.45698 times 10 to the 5127. Something that I messed up the first time through was that a to the b to the c is not the same as a to the b to the c, but instead a to the b times c. Life tips with greasy. Math has rules. If you follow them, you won't get PUNISHED afterwards. After we set up all the frames, we will see that each animation can have 1 to 24 frames per second. Therefore, we need to multiply the last number by 24, which gets us 5.89675 times 10 to the 5128 possible animations in Bloxels. Once we have this, characters are incredibly simple. 
Each character has an idle animation, a walk animation, and a jump animation. These animations work the exact same way as the previous animations, and since these three are again independent of each other, we just cube our number for animations to get 2.0504 times 10 to the 15,386th possible characters in Bloxels. You heard it here folks, there are more possible characters in Bloxels than levels in the original Super Mario Maker. We broke the Mario Plex! But we're not done yet. Now on to backgrounds. A background consists of 169 boards. Therefore, our number for boards to the 169th is the number of possible backgrounds. In total, there are 1.99187 times 10 to the 28,884th possible backgrounds. We did it again. Real quick, I'm going to overwhelm you with all the options you have in Bloxels. Any square can be filled with water, land, a hazard, a coin, an exploding block, a power-up, an enemy, a story block, or a decoration. Moving to the Configure tab, you can configure a power-up by giving it one of six power-up options, an enemy by giving it one of three enemy options, or none at all, while you can also give it a brain or a story block by typing in things. Whether or not it's the game end flag doesn't really matter since you don't really have to have an end game flag, and if included, it doesn't add a significant amount of combinations. I'm not going to look too in-depth on the story part since there are so many things you can type in there, and it seems a bit unfair to count them all. It's like saying a level is different because its title is different. Here you can also choose which game music to play during the level. In the Decorate tab, you can apply any animation or board to all types of block, and you can apply a small background decoration to any square. You can also apply an overall background here. Most types of block have the same amount of possibilities as there are animations. However, power-ups are multiplied by 6 options for a power-up, leaving 3.538 times 10 to the 5,129th possible power-up blocks. Also, there are 4 enemy types with 5.051 billion brain options, meaning that there are 1.191 times 10 to the 5139th possible enemies. Now in order to discover how many possible options there are for a single block, since they are not independent of each other due to the fact that a block cannot simultaneously be a coin and a hazard, we must add them. This is practically going to be the same number as the number of possible enemies. Since they are different by a power of 10, the others don't really even matter. It's like if you have a hundred million dollars and you find a penny on the ground. How much money do you now have? A hundred million dollars. No one cares that you found a penny. You probably won't even take the effort to bend down and pick it up. The intriguing part about this is that a penny in this case is 10 to the 5,129, a value that trumps the cubed root of a Mario Plex. But because what we're adding it to is slightly more incomprehensible, it can be discarded. But that's only one block. There can be 169 blocks in one box of blocks, and there are 169 possible boxes of blocks. Each block is independent of each other block, which means that there are 1.191 times 10 to the 5139th all to the 28,561st power, which is 7.9301 times 10 to the 146,777,151st. Looking at this number, it's already the Mario Plex to the 11,000th power. And we're not even done. Quick side note, though sometimes the character doesn't particularly enjoy spawning on blocks like land tiles, they don't care when placed on enemies, which is where the bulk of the possibilities come from. Therefore, we don't have to have an empty space for a character to spawn Hello into. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the spiffy- I mean propaganda fear. Popping in when not even I expected at a pseudo-random point in the video with a pseudo-random accent. I am here to give you fast, reliable ways to help support my friend, Jay Greasy. But Philly, how can the channel grow? He's a small YouTuber who no one knows about and the algorithm works against him due to his sporadic upload schedule. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have discovered an absolutely fantastic exploit that will help you help me. First you go and click here followed by command C. Next we go over to Google Mail and this bad boy here will help us generate nearly infinite views. Next we click compose, go to the body and hit command V. Address the message to literally whoever you want, it really doesn't matter. And you're basically done. If you choose, you can accompany this message with a subject, something like, I've just discovered this small YouTuber, he's absolutely fantastic, go watch all of his videos, just something like that and hit send. Yes, lovely stuff. And now back to the man himself, 
They don't care when placed on enemies, which is where the bulk of the possibilities come from. Therefore, we don't have to have an empty space for a character to spawn into. Speaking of places for a character to spawn, the total number of levels must be multiplied by 28,561 since the character could enter any of these spaces. There are also 2.05 times 10 to the 15,386th possible characters in the game, so we have to multiply by that as well. There can be six different songs as well as 1.992 times 10 to the 28,884th backgrounds. And now for decorations. Turns out you can actually put a decoration behind any type of block. Therefore, there is the amount of possible boards to the 28,561st power number of decoration possibilities, which is about 3.759 times 10 to the 4,881,446th. Once we multiply everything together, we get 2.447076335 times 10 to the 151,702,874th possible levels in Bloxels. Of course, we can multiply by 10 to the negative 13th to see how many good Bloxels levels we can have because that's what MatPat did, but it's still 2.447 times 10 to the 151,702,861st. So if for some reason you don't seem to be able to comprehend the magnitude of this number, I'll put it in terms you can understand a bit better. I went into Microsoft Word, and in 12 point times New Roman font, single spaced, one page can hold 3,588 digits. However, we want 151 million digits. This means that on Microsoft Word, if you took the time to type out this number, it would end up being 42,279 pages, and that's only single spaced. A Wikipedia article demonstrates that this is more than three times as long as the longest novel ever written, Atenez ou les grands serrus, a French novel written in the 17th century that came in 10 volumes. If you put all these papers next to each other, assuming that they are 11 inches long, it would go for 7.34 miles. Cutting out the margins, the area amounts to about 0.39 acres of pure number. Just imagine, almost half an acre of 12 point single spaced number. Let's look at it another way. I attempted to figure out what this number would look like in binary. I found that our number was very close to 2 to the 503,927,751st. Don't ask, I did it. This means about 504 million bytes on the computer. Using Google's converter to help with this, it translates to nearly 63 megabytes. That's not even doing anything with the number, but just letting the computer say, yeah, that's a thing. But say someone is a bit stingy and says that aesthetics don't really matter. They think that most levels counted here are just other levels with different colors, and we actually didn't beat the Mario Plex. They will only count anything that actually changes the nature of the level. There is one hazard tile, water tile, etc. There are six power-up tiles since there are six very distinct power-ups. This assumes that there is only one animation, though animations can be very creative, such as this animation which makes it much more difficult to hit an enemy. But you know what? We're going to be nice and assume that there's only one animation possible. Speaking of enemies, each different brain actually does change the nature of the level. Fighting a regular patroller is a whole lot different from fighting an OP lad such as this one. However, some only have minimal changes, so we'll be nice again and only count 1% of the possible brains, which means that there are 50 million 513,675 brain combinations. We multiply this by 4 enemy options to get 202,054,700 different enemies. But hey, that's too many. We're being nice after all. Let's whack it in half. Now there are 101,027,350 possible intrinsically different enemies. If we add everything else in, we get 101,027,362 options for each block. There are 28,561 blocks, so all that to the 28,561st. We won't count the 6 songs because people are probably playing on mute after all, at least I do. Where the character starts only kind of matters, so we'll only count 10% of those options. So we multiply by 2856 and we'll assume that there's only one character in background. Decorations therefore also will not matter. Even after all this, and how nice we're being, there are still 1.531464 times 10 to the 228,602nd good intrinsically distinct levels in Bloxels. 
we were still able to blow the Marioplex out of the water. If we take the 18th root of this, we will almost reach the Marioplex, even after doing so much to make the competition as fair as possible. Just a side note, but since the Marioplex is greater than the atoms of the universe, so is our number via transitive property. And via direct comparison, but I wanted to say transitive property. Overall, it's a good day to be a greaser. You know, since greasers used to be a thing, I haven't figured out a good name for you guys. But then again, I don't have enough fans to consider your entire people group, so how about this? The limit as the number of fans approaches a people group of my name for y'all equals good. Though this makes no linguistic sense, I assure you, the math is impeccable. In the end, all this would be fine and dandy if Bloxel's Builder was still supported. I had stuff saved on there, and literally as I was making this video, Pixel Press was like, no 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 no. You don't get to play the game. You don't get to access saved information. You must purchase, of course. We will continue our services only to the rich. But as you all know, the most efficient solution is giving up. This is Propaganda Fear once again here to tell you about our next video. Our character is the illustrious Yoshi, and our goal is to collect every mini star in the entire known universe. But there is a problem, ladies and gentlemen, for the villainous Mario currently has more mini stars than I. However, we are the captain in the crucial captain event Nine Island. But there are so many combinations, who should go where? Soon we will discover the greatest strenuous strategy for Nine Island. I do hope you enjoyed the video, comment below and list your 5 favorite video games. Yes I know what you're thinking, but Philly, there's no other comments here. I'll be the only one, it'll be dreadful. Well ladies and gentlemen, if you comment you can sit back and relax with a cup of Yorkshire tea as the comments roll in. Others are thinking the same thing, and so am I. I assure you I will also reply to the first 10 comments that pop in, and maybe more. In the end, have an absolutely fantastic day, and subscribe.